Andy Farrell has named his Ireland squad to play Japan and to play the USA in the summer tests, I guess, when you guys are up in the Northern Hemisphere. It's winter down here in New Zealand. Uh, it's, I feel like it's not quite as a huge dramatic shift as we've seen from the Scottish naming thus far. It's maybe a bit more like the Welsh side in that there's a kind of good, even mix of youth and uh, experience. Uh, the English side we've seen named by Eddie Jones thus far is very youthful, but remember he doesn't have access to four of the teams as yet. So we'll go through the guys. You can let me know who you're particularly excited to see. Anyone you think is maybe a bit past their use-by date. And um, yeah, uh, I guess keep in mind that along with the guys who are with the British and Irish Lions, there are uh, a few guys who have been rested. You'll notice Johnny Sexton's name is not on the board. He's been given a bit of a break. Uh, Keith Earls, Kian Healy, so there's a few guys who have been there and done it who will benefit from a proper proper break to get any niggles kind of under control. But there are a few debutants and a few guys also who are kind of, you know, veterans in their own right. Uh, Heffin and Herring and Kelleher, there's kind of no real surprises there at Hooker, I would have thought. Um, two guys in their 30s in the first two, and then Kelleher is the young gun, but he is off with the Lions at the moment, assisting them with their training, not as part of the squad, but helping out because they don't have access to... Cal and Dickie and George yet because those guys are still with their club team so uh yeah I guess that's that's kind of no surprises that's what I'm talking about there's not some real left field pick there as far as I'm concerned uh props Beal and Byrne, Dooley, Kilcoin, O'Toole and John Ryan so O'Toole's the youngster there at 22 years old he is uncapped likewise uh Dooley is, is 26 but also uncapped all the other guys have kind of been there or thereabouts thus far I mean Dave Kilcoin's a proper veteran so uh, I mean, you guys closer to the Irish team will let me know if there's anybody else who you think was maybe close. But that seems to seems to kind of work uh, as well in terms of guys who've got, you know, single digit or low double digit. Like BLM has been floating around for quite some time. 14 caps. Ed Byrne, four caps at 27. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see if O'Toole gets any game time. Uh, Locks, Ryan Baird, Delan, Maloney, Ryan, and Witcherly. James Ryan is captain. He has captained, he did captain Ireland for a couple of games, right? And he was still a little bit awkward, I felt, in his captaincy, but that's something that you learn uh, with experience, and he's still got a long, long time to to kind of hone those skills. You don't kind of get that stuff overnight, so this experience will certainly benefit him. He's already got 35 caps, he's only 24 years old, he feels like he's been around forever at this point, James Ryan, he'll be obviously disappointed to miss out on the Lions, but kind of his own you know health and stuff didn't uh, wasn't that conducive in the build-up anyway so yeah he'll be looking to put his best foot forward uh, Ryan Baird as the next kind of up-and-coming guy there always seems to be another guy in Ireland's kind of youth ranks that's that's coming through in terms of the locks he's certainly that I saw his wonder try the other day that was all over social media quite rightly so bit of a spinorama um, but he's only 21 so heaps to come from him uh, obviously no Quinn Rue because he is off uh, overseas I think once his contract is up so it's a chance for Ross Maloney um, and Finn and Wichely. so yeah it'll be it'll be interesting to see I guess um, how the second row kind of lines up without Ian Henderson uh, in the ranks Loose Fords, Boyle, Coombs, Doris, Omahani, Timoney and Van Fleer so again uh, you got hugely experienced guys uh, with uh, Peter Omani there and uh, Josh van der Fleer has been there or thereabouts for a long time as well massive work rate on him very good guy to watch but then you got Boyle Coombs and Timoney who are uncapped and Kalen Doris who's had seven Doris is another guy who's had his own kind of issues with I think it's mostly concussion with him isn't it that's kind of kept him out for a little while uh, Coombs is the guy I'm most excited about uh, people have been talking him up to me for quite some time and whenever I watch him he just seems to be in absolutely blockbusting form obviously CJ Stunder uh, has retired so if you guys need a guy to step up I feel like Coombs is uh, is maybe a pretty good guy for the job he is just absolute dynamite um, I can't comment too much about Paul Boyle I feel like I've seen him play but not enough to really know his game uh, I mentioned Van der Fleer with his tackle rate Peter Armani um oh, Kalen Doris is a, a real skills man so yeah it's a good mix Timoney I've seen play for Ulster as well seems to get through a few tackles too so how the back row lines up will be one to watch I am uh, keen to see what um 
what crew Andy Farrell can come up with. Uh, Scrum halves is maybe the main one which seems to be a point of contention with Ireland fans. You got Blade, Casey, and Gibson Park. Nobody's got 10 caps to their name. Nine for Gibson Park, one for Casey, and none for Blade. So he's been called into the side. Apparently he's been having a pretty good Rainbow Cup from what I have read. Uh, 27 years old is a relatively late call up for a scrum half, but if you're in form, it's good to see that get rewarded. Uh, Casey, though, is the guy that everybody is pretty excited to see, I believe. Uh, he's another one that seems to have pretty uh, pretty good press about him. And when I've seen him play, it passes a proper bullet. There's only a few guys who play nine who, when you see them pass the ball, it looks... It looks proper, just proper zippy. And uh, Casey seems to be one of those guys um, that talked about in the press conference why McGrath uh, maybe wasn't selected. Cooney, Cooney, I believe, is injured. And um, McGrath, they they seem to allude to the fact they know what McGrath can do, whereas they want to give the likes of a, a Casey a chance to really run the show and uh, put his best foot forward to see what he's quite capable of at that test level. Um, I think, what did he say? More, oh, he said, um, this is Andy Farrell, giving some of the guys a chance to step up to a more senior role for the guys who've been there before. And then um, for the guys who haven't really been there before, give them a chance to see what Test Rugby is all about. So that's kind of uh, where they're at with the scrum halves and the squad overall. Uh, fly half, Billy Burns, Harry Byrne, and Joey Carberry. Three guys, they only got two games. They've, they've given Billy Burns a fair few chances at 10. I feel like Joey Carberry, now that he's back fit, probably needs to have a go. Uh, but Harry Byrne is another one who's touted as a man for the future, uncapped, 22 years old. I've been waiting to see him get a crack for Leinster, and I've seen him named at least once or twice. And I think once he's gone off within the first five minutes, injured another time he pulled out before the game started injured, so... Not sure if that's a regular thing with him or not, or just whenever I want to sit down and watch him, he seems to have a bit of bad luck. But um, yeah, I feel like Car Carberry's definitely got a higher ceiling than when he's at at the moment. So yeah, let's hope Carberry can have a, a good run with fitness. Uh, midfielders, Daly, Farrell, McCloskey, and Ringrose. Ringrose is another guy who's kind of been about the traps for a bloody long time. I somehow still think he's kind of underrated. I don't know why. Um, people seem to give him a bit of stick from time to time. Because he's got a huge skill set. Um, McCloskey's a big unit. Farrell's a big unit. And uh, Tom Daly's the uncapped guy, uh, 27 years old. Gets his chance to put his best foot forward with the absence of Aki and Henshaw opening that, that wee door for him to step through. But again, none of those guys are under 26. So it's not a hugely inexperienced midfield. Outside backs, the most... Probably um, happy I am is Robert Balakoon. I remember seeing him for Ulster a couple of years ago, and the dude, a bit of a lanky chap from what I remember, but he seemed to have a bit about him, just that something kind of X factor. And then I've asked people where he's been at, but apparently he's been injured for quite some time. So good to see him get a chance uh, with Ireland. Conway is another guy, speaking of underrated, who I still think doesn't get a fair crack. Um, the fullback question will be an interesting one because they've tried Stockdale, they've got Lama, Addison's a guy who I'd like to see get a go, but Keenan has had that jersey to his own recently and he has looked phenomenally safe under the high ball. Um, he's, so, he's kind of like, because he's not the tallest guy, he looks like he shouldn't be as good as he is, but um, it's a plane flying over my house. Uh, yeah, Keenan has been really impressive. So. Yeah, it is an interesting one. So no Cooney injured, stunned and retired, Ru off overseas. Um, I think Eric O'Sullivan's done his shoulder. There's no Luke McGrath, no Carty, no Ross Byrne. It's an interesting mix. Only the two games, they'll be wanting to get a wee bit of revenge on Japan, undoubtedly. Uh, I am keen to see how some of these guys line up. I'm desperate to see the likes of Casey get some proper minutes. Likewise, Gavin Coombs, um, John Ryan, not John Ryan, James Ryan as captain to see him with his leadership skills kind of developing. Uh, Balakoon, I'd like to see him get some proper minutes as well, but I guess we'll have to wait and see how Andy Farrell goes. Does he go with a slightly more conservative lineup because he does have the experience in the squad or does he kind of really shift things up maybe for the USA game? But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. Who do you reckon is going to start 10? Um, and uh, what do you think of the squad? Who else are you kind of keen to see get a crack that maybe didn't quite make it? And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.